Whoa, well, maybe my friend. Bro, there's no one in here. Is this not real? You guys okay? Yeah, we're You sure? Yeah, thank you. Are you okay, ma'am? Dude, my, my thing turned off and it won't record. I'm pressing the freaking record button. Ah! What? Oh, oh my god, what? What? I'm just away. What is up fam? Welcome to our first episode of Most Haunted Overnight Stays. I go back and visit some of the most haunted locations we've ever visited, tell you guys some of the backstories behind it, give you some extra footage never seen before in the original videos, and some of these videos go back to four or five years ago. First one, the Stanley Hotel. This was one crazy night. The things that occurred there just make me wonder if people just lose their mind in this place. So let's get right into this, guys. I'll see you in a bit. All right, boys, lead the way up the stairs. Let's go. Something cool about these stairs. Yo, Rich, why don't you tell me something about um, Red Rock? What is it? Red Rock. Yo, somebody told me it's right up here. Bro. Red Rum spelled backwards is murder. Guys, this is where we need to do our 3 a.m. challenge. Right here. This is one of the... Oh. This is one of the most haunted, this is the one of the most haunted floors in all of America. And we're gonna check that out at 3M. And this right here is the most haunted room. 401, we're staying in 400, which is actually kind of funny. And that's actually, well, it's open. It's cracked open. Is this not real? I just... Oh, hello, sorry about that. Uh, I'm sorry. Hi. So, oh, sorry. Are you, <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Oh my God, the doors like cracked open a little bit. And sure? I wanted to show, are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, wait, my friends left me, guys. Okay, okay, I ain't gonna lie. That might not have been the smartest idea ever, sneaking into somebody's room. I mean, it was cracked open technically, so like, I thought it would be okay. And man, let me just tell you, I don't blame my boys Rich and, and George. They took off, yo. They they booked it. I mean, they were right behind me, up until the point when we heard, it, can I help you? And I was like, oh, I'm just caught. I, I ain't going nowhere. They bailed, yo. Matter of fact, here's some of the footage you might not have seen in my original video. Pretty funny, guys. Look at this. Oh, hello. Sorry about that. I saw your door was open. Oh, sorry. Are you ready? Oh, my God. He's crazy. He's so savage. What is he doing? Guys. Guys, <laughs> 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 yo, yo, hi. We we do we do uh, YouTube videos actually, and we were told this is the most haunted room here, yeah. and you left your door open a little bit, so I just peeked in. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, you can come in. We can come in and look. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Bro, there you go. Bro, you guys are like totally this way. <laughs> oh my god, they're like you're crazy. Oh my gosh. 
Thank you guys so much. What can you tell me about this room? Because there was a tour guide here earlier, and I saw like about 20 people out here, and they were talking about this room being the most haunted room. Yes. And I know it's right across from this crazy thing here. And maybe you could even tell me about that a little bit. Do you know what red room is? Um, I was it's it's murder spell spelled backwards, I heard. Murder spelled backwards. Okay. If you go right out there up the staircase and you shine up, it's written right there. Oh. Now, is it in blood, red ink? Like, what? what is this? Do you know? Do you know? Kind of I don't even like know. Blood. It looks like blood. Somebody told me it was blood. Yeah. Come like, in. Yeah. Don't be sad. <laughs> in that bathroom, we were just mm -hmm. chilling. Yeah. Because it's her birthday today. Uh-uh. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank what? <laughs> Guys, go over and show us some love. It's our birthday. Yeah. And they're like, going to room. That's so awesome. Yeah, um, we were just chilling. And this lady, like, screamed in the bathroom. Like, yeah. we had a clear lady what? scream. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just creepy. So we've kept the door shut. <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh, your bathroom's way bigger than ours. What? Yeah. Oh. I don't like it. It's all creepy, but she definitely screams. Somebody screams. Oh, that would freak me out, though. Yeah, but then the closet. So they say, Lord Dunraven, is that his name? Um, if you go in there and you close the door, he'll touch you. No. -uh. Yeah. yeah. Guys, I'm chicken. Will one of you guys do that? That'd be so bad. That you guys would be savages to do that. Go in there for like. Hello. Well, hey. Hi. No, come on. <laughs> it's like if the door's open. This is like, you guys know this is like the almost haunted room here or something? I know. Yeah. That's so crazy. Like, you want to go in the closet? Like, no joke, right now I'm shaking. Yeah. I don't even know. George, do you want to do it for one minute? Go in there. Well, he's going to go in there for a whole minute. Okay. And let us know, let us know if anything happens in there. Go. If you need to come out, you can come out. So, we'll leave the door like fine, you're good. We'll tell you when a minute's up, or approximately a minute. Okay, so we were on a tour earlier, and the lady that was doing our tour, she showed us this video that a lady took the night before. Oh, there were wow. no kids on the tour. Let me get behind her. Take a um, look at that. That's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but a kid runs across. <gasps> and if you go so, like, you can just flat out. Oops. Like, see the kid come up mm -hmm. and run through. Boo! In slow motion? Mm -hmm. I love you good? It. Yeah. They, they don't like boys, they like girls. What the heck? You know what's crazy? Hey, my buddy, I think my buddy really is freaked out. He's literally, he's not even in the room anymore. He don't even want to be in here. Oh my God. Like, I just noticed that. George, you okay, bro? So are you guys the ones doing that when the kids Oh, I gotta go check on my boy here. Oh, the tapping? Oh, we were getting Yeah, right, bro? They freak you out. Huh? And you know those hangers? Yeah. Like, it fall down. Like, -uh. it. You hit it or no? No, I didn't hit it. Oh gosh. Okay, but you know, you know, hey, you know what my buddy was telling me? He's like, I didn't want to freak them out, but like something touched me in there. And like that's why he walked out. And he's like, also, a hanger that was over here just fell to the ground. I guarantee you ain't no one's gonna touch me. Cause you know what? Like I see a lot of crazy things, mm -hmm. but nothing ever touches me. Like I've had friends that have been scratched. I've had friends that have been crazy. Oh no, like like things happen crazy around me, okay. but like I've never had anything touch me. I've heard things, seen things, never had anything touch me. Well, we know that's definitely changed since four years ago. I don't think. <laughs> oh gosh. It's like a really uneasy feeling in here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. What's your name? I'm gonna, I think. Wait, I'm gonna turn the light off. I'm gonna stay in here for a minute. Yo, that, that is weird, yo. So I'm hearing weird noises in there, right? Nothing touched me. But all of a sudden, like, I feel like something whispered in my ear and said, leave. Like, leave. Like, really? They don't, he doesn't like men. Yeah. He likes young Bro. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't like men. I'm not surprised. I'm telling you, spirits don't never touch me, bro. Like, they, I see it, like, I don't know. Bro, I never had anything whisper in my ear before. Like, I almost feel like it, like... Like, I almost feel like I felt like like somebody like talking in my ear. Yeah. Whew, what the hell? 
Bro, you guys are savages to spend the night in here. Like, 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 I do stuff like this, but like, I only do it because I got my camera. Like, if I don't have my camera, I'm not as brave as I really am without my camera. It makes me feel like, yeah. Bro, feel my heartbeat, bro. It's like, oh, dang, that's scary. I didn't, like, I'm sitting in there, I'm like, all right, I'm waiting for her to get touched. Get ready to touch. No, no. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get it. Right, and it's like, leave. You should do it. I'll record it. I'll, re I'll re You know what? You guys should do it because you know what? I'm. He we're right here. So all you have to do is like open the door or tell me to open the door and I'll open the door. And we're right here. So if you guys are going to do it, this is your best opportunity to do it. But don't make me force you to. You guys are here. You're staying in this room. You should do it. But you know what I'm more, more worried about? Have you guys looked under the bed? No. I don't, I don't oh, want to. I thought about it. Like that. Do you mind if I look under the bed? I thought of, No. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I'm just not because like I think like haunted most haunted room most haunted floor most haunted hotel yeah. like I want to know No, I felt the breeze earlier come from my neighbor's bed though You guys see anything under there? <laughs> don't do it. Don't do not do it. Don't do not do it. It's okay. We can do it. You sure? Yeah, right. those, if you want to do it, do it. Come on, come on, come I don't like don't, don't make me feel like I don't want to make you like I'm, I don't want to be like I'm forcing you. <laughs> It's just pillows. You can go on that side. It's just I pillows. Want, yeah. You can't. You have to hold my hands. You know what would be crazy if somebody crazy. did an overnight so challenge in that room? Oh, oh that's yeah. That's funny. I don't like this. Get locked in. I don't like this. Okay. You can come out anytime you want. So if you feel uncomfortable, just walk hard. out. Hold my hand. My heart is racing. Good God, Jesus. Help bless my soul. Savages. I'm in. That's awesome. You're a savage. Oh, what the fuck? Bro. Huh. What the? Dude. My, my thing turned off and it won't record. I'm pressing the freaking record button. Ah! What? Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What happened? It touched me. I don't Bro. like that. What the living hell oh. is going on? Okay, first of all, what happened? <laughs> Here, right here. So we're standing in there. She's. Oh, it doesn't actually matter. I'm gonna be the ghost dude. Uh -huh. uh, he comes up like. <laughs> oh gosh. And, like puts his arm like around my back, and I was like, uh -huh. hey! and I ran. I don't like. That. So you felt like an arm around your back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. What did you feel? Well, like right before you screamed. The ghost likes like women more and more. Run over me, which they said. That really. Girls in this room feel a lot of love because he likes girls. That's cool. So, I know. Thank you guys so much for letting us, like, come in here. Like, you are so nice. And, like, we're, like, peeking in your room. Like, I'm so glad. Like, you you guys were like, what were you guys thinking, by the way? I was laughing at George because he was running down the hallway. Was he? <laughs> so, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much again. Appreciate awesome. it. Yeah. Cool. Yo, that was freaking amazing. Shout out to them, guys. Go show them some fam love because that was very nice of them. And uh, they were cool people, and that could have went way differently. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe that wasn't the smartest idea. Like, I didn't think there was anybody in there. Bro, where are you guys going? There was just three loud bangs right there. What the hell is going on? Bang, bang, bang. And we were already talking over here. All right, guys. The steel one and myself have been shocked so many times touching this. Got him. <laughs> Bro, every time. Every time. George, have you been shocked yet? I have. Oh, man. Ooh, sorry. You just shocked me, bro? <laughs> Guys, thank you so much again. Thank you. All right, let's go. Yo, all right, where are we going? What floor? What's up? What's up, man? We got to press a button. may remind you from a movie called Dumb and Dumber and uh, 
the movie Dumb and Dumber, they came racing up here, like, beat you on the stairs, like that. So I was told earlier that you can see faces sometimes in these mirrors. Um, I don't know. I feel like that thing's gonna move. This is so creepy. Whoa. Yo, this is crazy. At this point, we go outside to go and discuss this a little bit because we're trying to be quiet in the hall. And that's when we realized like this wasn't just like verbal abuse. There was something a lot darker to this. And that's when we decided that we had to step in. And I encourage all of you, if you ever see anybody in this type of a situation, you know, you don't have to knock on their door. Maybe go to the front desk clerk and, and let them know or know make a phone call to the police and if it gets down to that nobody should ever have to go through that type of abuse if a woman decides she changes her mind for whatever reason for anything then you need to accept that we went outside we talked about it we went back inside and this is what happened bro is she like yelling at somebody or is she just completely freaked out about something she is bro what the hell Bro, we should say things. She needs help. Maybe we'll go and see if she needs help, guys. You guys okay? Yeah, we're okay. You sure? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Are you okay, ma'am? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. So I thought they were having an argument at first, and we went outside, and then I'm like, maybe she needs help, you know? But the only thing, I don't know if you guys caught this or if I caught this, the only one thing, like, makes me want to, like, kind of make them open the door and make sure she's okay, I was like, that's just what I would do, because it sounded pretty bad, but... I heard you say something about because I didn't want to go along with your fantasy, you get all upset. 
So I don't know what happened, but I guess he was trying, he was trying to be freaky. She didn't want to be freaky. And, um, he said something not nice. See? I was gonna go for bro. So what you didn't see is one of the guys went to the front desk to let them know about what was happening. I didn't feel comfortable with the answer I got. Like you could hear in her voice, yeah, I'm okay. Like you could tell she wasn't okay. And you know, sometimes I've learned that, you know, people can be verbally abusive and that's a real thing. And women can be verbally abusive to men and men can be verbally abusive to women. A lot of people do get into fights and arguments and things like that. However, I felt this really overstepped the line, especially when I heard, I got you on film, you tried to kill me. That's when I knew like this was something that was real and this wasn't just a verbal episode. This had gotten into something much darker and I couldn't sit by and just let that happen. So we had to intervene. I feel so bad for people that have gone through abuse, whether it's through physical abuse, whether it's mental abuse. Um, both I've learned like even yelling at somebody is a type of abuse. Just be weary of your partner guys, especially if let's say you're with somebody who has been in an abusive relationship in the past, little things can trigger them. Just yelling or just a normal fight can trigger things that you don't realize is triggering inside them. And that's something that I've learned that you really have to take into account with the person that you're with and it's definitely um, something that's really not acceptable. If anyone's going through things like that at home, I definitely suggest you try to get some counseling, try to get some help. There is a root to your frustrations and it's always good to find out what that is without letting it get too dark. I'm glad we stepped in. I'm glad we stopped something from possibly happening and I'm glad that the guy went his way and even though he left her there, I think that was the best thing to happen for that night. I thought she was talking about spirit at first because we didn't hear a guy talking back. But what she kept saying over and over was, you wanted to do, what'd she say? You wanted to get kinky or you wanted to... She's like, I didn't want to go along with your plan. And like, I guess he got all mad and said some bad stuff. And probably not a nice dude right there. Guys, if a lady don't want to do something with you, she don't want to do something with you. Don't be a jerk off to cause something like that. Yeah. All right, fam, I'm going to go back. It's only been a few minutes. I'm going to make sure she's okay. I uh, brought Rich with me. And uh, we're going to go find out that yeah, she's okay. Because, guys, don't ever threaten a woman. Homie, don't play that. But I don't know, like... She's okay, they calmed down. I think after I knocked on the door, they calmed down. <laughs> ah, nuts. Bro, is that the first floor or second floor down there, bro? Uh -huh. Did you see he had his head down in the 
straight up left her. You heard what she said. She was like, you're just gonna leave me over? You brought me all the way out here in the mountains and you're just gonna leave me? Well, what happened? Hold on, I'm right here. Oh, it's because there was whispers on the basement. What? There was what? Whispers on the basement. Oh, you were down in the basement? Oh, I just swear I thought I saw. Is there light? This like... That sounds so creepy right there. It's the freaking wind coming through, but oh my god, that sounds so creepy. Oh yeah, that's creepy. You can hear the wind coming through there. Alright. Yo! That is cool. What were they saying before that this was from the... What did, what did you say before? What did you say before? The Shining series or Shining movie series? Uh, mini series. Oh, okay. TV mini series. Some of you guys may even watch that. Hey, does that open? Yeah. That's the oh, it's the bathroom. <laughs> guys. Bro, you never know. For real though. This is a really nice bathroom though. Hey, at least they got good bathrooms. You guys notice anything cool in here? Exactly the tour. Bro, good eye, dude. Bro, that's where I want to go. My boy, oh my gosh, TV's been wanting to come here for a very, very long time, guys. I would love to see what's behind this door right now, especially since there's nobody down here. But I'm going to wait for my boy Omar to get here because, guys, this is supposed to be super epic and this video is already long enough. I'm going to wait for my boy Omar to do that, guys. Bro, this is so cool. Do you know that this is the farm where, where the ghost hunters hear the hello boys? Oh, no way, dude. They heard voices? Like where? Rich, did you hear that? What? Oh, what? there's a freaking bang back there. Tell how far. Dang, let me see if I got my light. I want to see how much far that goes in there. Dude, good looking. My what card? I don't have a room card. Is it a room card? What? Oh no way. 
Bro, is that my room card? That's never, I don't have a room card. Bro, can you see in there? Does it go far? Bro, it goes far. You know what, guys? I would go in there, but that's pretty cool. Me too. I could go get my light, but honestly, I'd rather wait for my boy Omar to go check that out. Cause like, this is way too epic. Like, I wanna see what's in there, and I wanna see what's in there. All right, let's get out of here before someone comes. I swear I heard something in there. <laughs> nice job, Georgie. Nice try, bro. Good try. You would have got me too. Oh, Rich. Ah, nice try, bro. You can't get a savage one. <laughs> bro, it's okay. You can try again. Oh, the whole time he's waiting in there while we're gone, bro. Uh, yeah, you gotta let him in on that, bro. Unless you're trying to scare both of us. Exactly. Crazy wind coming from up there. Yo, that's freaking crazy. Okay. Oh, it's like a hurricane out there. Let's keep going and let's see what else we can find and see what other kind of trouble we can get into. So I want to show you one thing before we go over here. I didn't know this earlier when I was filming, but whew, I'm so tired now. There's little staircases on the side that go from floor to floor. They're actually known as the vortex. They actually, it's where spirits go and pass up and down through floors. Let's go take a look. This is our room, guys. You guys wanna hear something crazy? I didn't mention this either before, but our room's the only one without a plaque and if you look on the door it's written 400 that's our room number 400 now 401 is way away but I want you to look at something 
what is that? 407. I'm going to say all plaques. 409. I don't think I should keep it going, but look. 411. They're all odd numbers over here. Why is there odd numbers? And then literally, there's one even number room doesn't have a plaque and it's handwritten. Like, makes you wonder, right? Second most haunted room in this hotel. In my opinion, somebody would say. Dude, that just like moved. What in the hell? Okay, I've opened these doors before. They slam shut. They do. It is windy out, but I don't know. Got no Look, look. Not not only that, it's completely closed. Look, it's not gonna move. Now I don't think I caught that on camera. I think I was looking at it, but I wasn't filming it. This is the vortex. It's like a little staircase. You can go down floor by floor. If there's any spirits here, you can show yourself or say anything. God, my guys are playing so many tricks on me. I don't know what's real or not real. So as we're looking back here at some more stuff, basically there is a tunnel underneath this entire hotel, guys. Now it's been abandoned and the story is that it collapsed. Now you can do a tour, a ghost tour here. They do take you down there, but you don't get to go very far. They kind of stop you. I know that when you go in the tour and you actually go, you go to the basement over here and you actually can go in the tunnel, but like I said, it only goes like that far in the ground. But they say it's a abandoned, collapse, whatever, but it goes all the way around and they say it comes outside. And I guarantee you that's where it is. This place freaks me out, guys. You know where I'm at right now? Somewhere I'm not allowed to be. <laughs> we are back in the basement, in the actual tunnel system, guys. Now, no one is allowed to be in here. Like, you're not allowed to be in here, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, so it's not very big in here, but it is super spooky in here. Now, you're not supposed to be in here. I think the door is supposed to be locked, but Maybe they left it open for me, because uh, they saw me filming, who knows? But I don't think so, you never know. I want to go in there. I heard that goes back, like way back there. But I'm saving that for when I come back with my boy Omar, and I'm going to crawl in there when we come back here. Oh man. Keep your eyes open. When me and George and the steel one right here, we heard a bang come in from in there. Now in there, that's where you go on to the next part, and then the next part, and it goes all the way to the end. And that's where I wanna, like I actually, to be honest with you, I found a way in there, guys. But I'm waiting for my buddy Omar, and the two of us are gonna go tackle that together. I can't wait to do it. Cause this is already crazy enough in here, but the fact that literally, you can go all Okay, I'm free. 
freaked out already, guys. I need to know what's in there. But I'm not going in there without my boy. Alright. This is like natural limestone in here, guys. It's crazy. I'm shaking right now. So if you guys can see, there's another room in there. And then... There's another room in there. And then past that, it goes all the way to the end. I actually found a way to actually get in there. But I'm waiting for my boy Omar to do it. I am going to let you guys go. I appreciate you watching the video. I know it had to be quiet. That's because, guys, it's like 4 o'clock, 3.30, not 4, it's almost like 3.30 in the morning. And I don't want to wake all these people up. And I already had one woman yell at me. The woman from right there yell at me. So I definitely do not want to um, bother them. So I'm going to go back to the room. I'm going to get some sleep that I most desperately need, guys. And, uh, oh, get some sleep that I need. Tomorrow, we're going to film something even, like, believe it or not, crazier than this. Whew, so nuts. All right, fam, I love you guys. Make sure you go support my food. No freaking way. What the hell? Right, guys that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said this is going to be a bonus video that i'm going to be putting out after each savage sunday so you can look forward to a new most haunted overnight stay right here every sunday guys yeah like 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 v just said and i appreciate you guys watching comment below if you enjoy this if you think i should keep it up I have a big trip coming with my friend chris in just a few weeks and i'm going to be doing a whole new series something no one's ever done something that is going to be very unique very cool very spooky but not ghost spooky but maybe kind of we'll just have to see love you guys till next time peace yeah